This video tutorial will walk you through course and section management in MindTap. To get started, ensure that your adopted product is displayed on your instructor dashboard. From the MindTap menu, select Create Course Masters and Sections, and then Course Master. A Course Master is a course that is created for the sole purpose of copying to other sections. It is not available for student enrollment. You can create a new master course using the default product template. You can copy one of your existing courses, or you can copy from another instructor's course key if they have provided it to you. For this training, we will create a new course master and click continue. Enter a name for your course master, and then enter the course start and end dates and time zone. Then click Create Course Master. You will receive notification that your Course Master has been created, and the course key will be displayed. You can now begin to customize the Course Master. This will launch you into MindTap. When you first open a new MindTap course, you may be offered the opportunity to walk through a guided setup of your course. Whether you're creating a new course from scratch or copying a course from the previous term, Guided Course Setup will save you time and help you start off right. You can skip this process by clicking Skip Guided Setup, but we highly recommend completing this. Guided Setup is a great tool for getting the initial MindTap setup steps out of the way. Click the Guided Setup button to begin. We estimate that this setup will take about a few minutes. Click Next. On step one, you'll be asked if your course is an online course, a face-to-face -face course, or a hybrid of the two. The next option will ask if you'd like your course to be displayed by topic or by date. This will set the default view of your course to be either the outline structure of the MindTap learning path or a rolling week view that shows your students what assignments are due that week. If you select an option here and later decide you'd like the other, this setting can be changed later as well. Once you have selected your answers, click Next. The next question will ask if you plan to use MindTap with a School Learning Management System, or LMS, such as Blackboard, Canvas, Brightspace by D2L, Moodle, or other LTI-compliant learning management system. If you select Yes, it will then ask which LMS you plan to use. Click Next. The final page of Guided Setup will ask how you'd like scored activities to impact the gradebook. Using system defaults will provide you with a mixture of practice and graded activities in line with how assignments were originally created. Counts Towards Grade will set all scored activities to be tracked in the course gradebook. Practice will set all scored activities to not be tracked in the gradebook. The Point Value field is an optional field that you can use to set the point value of all scored activities in your course. If left blank, all activities will have a default point value. If you'd like your activities to all have the same point value, set that value here. Finally, select whether you'd like all activities to be available to your students on the first day of class, or if you'd like them to become available at a specific later date. When you are finished, click Next. The last page is a confirmation that you've reached the end of the guided setup. If you'd like to go back and change something, you can use the back button. If you're finished, click finish. MindTap will build your course around the settings you have selected during the guided setup. If you selected yes at the LMS integration question, you'll be provided with a PDF document that walks you through integrating your course with your learning management system. These instructions will cover linking your MindTap course with your LMS by creating a course level link and how to enable deep links and grade synchronization between MindTap and your learning management system. It is important to understand that you must make all customizations in your course before creating course sections or providing your course master key to another instructor. All sections created from the master course will be an exact copy of the master at the time it is duplicated. Any changes made to the master course after the sections or copies are created 
will not be reflected in the sections. Please refer to additional videos if you need assistance with personalizing the learning path, adding activities, or setting assignment due dates. Once your course master is customized to your liking, return to the Instructor Resource Center. Once again, click on Create Course Masters and Sections, except this time you will click Course Sections. You are now able to create sections that will be available for student enrollment. This functionality can be used if you are a course coordinator who wants to create multiple sections of the course for other instructors or adjuncts, or also by an individual user who simply teaches multiple sections of the same course. Start by entering the number of sections that will be created. You can create up to 25 sections at one time and repeat the process if necessary. Next, select Copy from My Course Master and choose your master course. Alternatively, a user who is provided with the master course key could create multiple sections by selecting Copy from Course Master. Click Continue. The course sections are now created. By default, the naming structure is Course Master Name, followed by Section 1, 2, 3, etc. You can edit sections individually or click to expand all sections. At this point, the section names and information can be modified if necessary. For example, you may want to add the course or section reference number or note the days and times that those sections meet. You can also add additional instructors or TAs to the course if you know their Cengage username, which is typically their institution email address. And then click Add. You can also make them the primary instructor for the course. You can repeat this process for each section and then click Create Course Sections. If you don't have all the information at this time, you will always be able to return to your sections to add instructors at a later date. On the Course Sections Overview page, you will see each of the sections listed along with the course link and student registration instructions, which you can distribute to students on the first day of class. Do not provide these instructions to students if you are planning to integrate the course with your learning management system. Thank you for completing this video training for MindTap. For additional help or resources, please visit our training and support sites or join the higher ed community to engage with your peers.